Every correctional facility has structured imbalances between officers and inmates that are controlled by policies and procedures. However, inmates will realize the structured imbalances of power between each other and use that to exploit the officers. Today, we're going to talk about those sneaky manipulation tactics that inmates can use on the staff and how to prevent that before it even takes root. Conning habits don't necessarily stop once an inmate is booked inside of a jail or prison facility. They're pros at this, so they're still going to use those same tactics on the inside of a facility as they did on the outside. They begin by gathering information on the officers to determine their weakest link, narrow down on their most vulnerable target, and then pounce on their prey. To prevent manipulation from even taking its root, it's important to fully understand who you are deep down. You need to know your triggers, you need to know what pushes your buttons, and what makes you feel the most vulnerable. And it's important to know how much control you have over your own actions and reactions. Every time you walk through those facility doors, you need to program your attitude to reflect professionalism. However, it's important to not confuse positivity and kindness. It's your goal to be respected, not liked. You are ultimately responsible for holding an inmate accountable for their poor behavior, no matter how bad they try to guilt trip you. Remember, they are the masters of deceivement and blurring professional lines. For example, there are inmates that will lie about liking certain sports teams or hobbies that you're interested in to build a small connection. But once that small relationship is made, they're going to start poking at their new buddy for favors. It could start as small as a piece of gum. However, that could grow into a cigarette or grow into a snack and so on and so forth. So that's why it's best to never let that door open in the first place. Officers are taught how to be aware of their own body language, as inmates will inspect how officers walk, talk, and walk the talk. You have to make sure that your nonverbal body language aligns with your verbal language. Inmates study how body language, such as nodding your head or avoiding eye contact, aligns with the verbal communication being sent by the officer. The tone and word selection need to align with the nonverbal actions. Inmates look for miscommunications between officers all the time, so it's important that you have consistency across the entire board. For example, if one officer were to say no to an inmate, then it's a universal no from every single other officer. Having consistency shows that the inmates, what they can expect from one officer, they can expect from the entire facility. The best way to avoid the slippery slope of manipulation is to make sure that those boundary lines are never even close to being crossed. It's crucial for officers to remember that their relationship with inmates may be power imbalanced, but it's their job to maintain that power. If you have any questions that we could further answer on whether or not our products would be a good match for your facility, please reach out to us at support at guardianrfid.com. And remember to get your team home safe.